So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Champions League format, um, and, uh, which which starts next season. Is it any good? What does it mean for the competition? And uh, obviously, we will be there, guys. We will be there uh, because Arsenal, unless barring complete capitulation, will be in the Champions League next season. Um, you never know. We might even be in it as winners. Who knows? Uh, but anyway. Uh, make sure you smash these likes up. Big up to everyone who's subbed. Uh, we're going to go through the um, the website, um, UEFA website. Uh, this is also uh, Europa League and Conference League uh, new formats as well. And uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Uh, but let's read out um, let's read out some of the stuff off this website. Also, don't forget I'm live for a watch along uh, an hour before the Arsenal game kicks off. I'll be live on the main channel, League Gunner. So go and check that out as well. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Um, 2024-25 format will deliver the best for clubs, players and fans. UEFA based its design on extensive consultation with key stakeholders in the European footballing community. The final format access list and the calendar of European competitions was approved on May 10th, 2022. Further to UEFA's decision on 19th of April 21 to introduce the new competition system. Waffle, 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 waffle. Let's carry on. All right. From next season, the pivotal change in the reforms announced by UEFA's executive committee is the departure of the current group stage system. No more dead rubbers in group stages, guys. The present Champions League group stage includes 32 participants divided into eight groups of four. From 24-25, 36 clubs will participate in the Champions League phase, former group stage, Champions League league phase. So it's now a massive league of 36 teams, guys. The 36 clubs will participate in a single league competition in which all 36 completing clubs are ranked together. So basically, this is the Super League, guys. This is the Super League. Anyway. Under the new format, teams will play eight matches in the new league phase format group stage. So instead of six games, it's now eight games. They will no longer play three opponents twice home and away. They will instead face fixtures against eight different teams, playing half of those matches at home and half of them away. To determine the eight different opponents, the teams will initially be ranked in four seeded pots. Each team will then be drawn to play two opponents from each of these pots playing one match against a team from each pot at home and one away. This gives the opportunity for clubs to test themselves against a wider range of opponents and raises the prospect for fans of seeing top teams go head-to-head -head more often and earlier in the competition, it will result in more competitive matches for everyone across the board. Right, okay. Uh, how will the four extra Champions League group spots be allocated? Qualification for the Champions League will continue to be open and depend on the club's final position in the previous season's domestic league competition, combined with the association's position and the association club coefficient. Uh, the basis of the access list will remain the same as for the current season, and the additional four slots available in 24-25 will be allocated as follows. Cheers, guys. Slot one. This place will go to the club ranked third in the championship of the association fifth in fifth position in the access list and will be determined by UEFA association club coefficient ranking. So basically, fifth place. Slot two. This will be awarded to the domestic champion by extending from four to five number of qualifying clubs via the champion's path of the competition qualifying process and will consist of four qualifying rounds. <laughs> this is mad, mad baffling, right? Uh, slots three and four. These places will go to associations with the best collective performance by their clubs in the previous season, i.e. the association club coefficient of the previous season, which is based on the total number of coefficient points obtained by each club from an association divided by the number of participating clubs from that association. Have a shot every time they say association. Those two associations, shot, 
Cheers. We'll each earn one more automatic place. Uh, as it stands right now, if it was to the season was to end now, I think Leipzig and Roma get it. Anyway, how will the teams reach the knockout phase and will the format for the knockout phase change? Uh, these results of each match will be decided the overall ranking of the new league. The three points for a win and one points for a draw still apply. The top eight sides in the league will qualify automatically for the round of 16, while teams finishing ninth to 24th place will compete in a two-legged knockout phase to secure their path into the last 16. Uh, teams that finished lower than 25th or 25th or lower will be eliminated with no access to the Europa League. The new format, with all the teams ranked together in a single league, will mean that there is more to play for all the way through to the final night of the league phase. That's not necessarily true. Because if you win six out of seven, or six, or six out of six, let's say, not even that, maybe five out of first five, you're going to be sat right up near the top. If not the very top, you might be on goal difference second or third. So you've only got three games to go. Even if you lost all three of them, the chances of somebody that's ninth, <laughs> yeah, managing to win all of the rest of their games and overtake you is extremely slim. Because ninth puts you in the qualifying knockouts to get to the knockouts. Anyway, in the knockout phase, the teams which finish ninth to 16 will be seeded in the knockout phase playoff draw, meaning they will face the teams placed 17th to 24th, with, in principle, the return leg at home. The eight clubs who prevail in the knockout playoffs will then progress to the round of 16, where they will face one of the top eight finishers, who will be seeded in the round of 16. To strengthen the synergy, that's a good buzzword, isn't it? Synergy. To strengthen the synergy between the league and the knockout phases and to provide more sporting incentive during the league phase. The pairings of the knockout phase will also be partly determined by the league phase rankings, with the draw, which likewise determines the layouts and the route of the teams to reach the final. From the round of 16 onwards, the competition will continue to follow its existing format of knockout rounds, leading to the final stage at a neutral venue selected by UEFA. All games before the final we continue to play midweek, recognising the importance of domestic calendar, uh, calendar sorry, of games across Europe when the final will continue to be played on a Saturday. Europa League and Conference League is going to be the same. How will the calendar look for the new format? OK. The Champions League and Europa League matches will be played between September and January, while the Conference League will be played between September and December. Each of these Europa Club competitions will have one exclusive match week, with the other two not being scheduled in this week. In standard weeks, Champions League matches will be played Tuesday and Wednesday, while Europa League and Conference League will be contested on Thursdays. In the Champions League exclusive week, Champions League matches will play Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> In the Europa League exclusive week, Europa League matches will be held on Wednesday and Thursday. In the Europa Conference League exclusive week, the Conference League matches will take place on a Thursday. So basically, they're not going to do Europa League and the Conference League on the same night. Albeit it's going to be the same day, Thursday, Wednesday now as well. But it'll have its own separate week, same as the Champions League. Its own separate week, guys. How will it benefit the fans? Uh, well, we get to see better teams against each other, I suppose. Uh, the new league format will involve more European teams in competition and will allow fans not to, only to see more European matches, but also to see these matches take place earlier in the competition. The new format will introduce better competitive balance between all teams, with the possibility for each team... Uh, to play opponents of a similar competitive level throughout the league phase. Every game counts. The new league format will ensure that any result has a potential to dramatically change the team's position, right up and to and including the very last match day. Winning or losing the last game of the phase could be the difference between the side qualifying automatically for the last 16 entering playoffs or being eliminated altogether. Unless you're winning five out of five, and then it makes no difference. 
what the last three games are saying, guys. But, but there we go. Anyway, um, how would the Champions League benefit the European game? No, I'm not reading that. And we don't care about how it's changed down the years, guys. Uh, anyway, anyway, guys, uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, to be fair. Um, I think having Champions League Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cool. More watch-alongs, guys. Uh, having separate um, weeks for these competitions, so you're not bunching Europa League and Conference League on the same night. I'm all for that as well. More content for me. Uh, as a fan of my club in the Champions League, um, I kind of like it. How many times do we see our teams, Champions League teams, like that we support English teams, Real Madrid, whoever it may be? How many times do we see all these dead rubbers? Now we're going to see the likes of Arsenal Bayern, Arsenal Atleti, Arsenal Madrid, Arsenal PSG. We're going to see some decent setups. We're going to see some decent games. One thing it didn't say is whether, and I'm assuming maybe I didn't read it properly or don't understand it properly, um, but I'm assuming that the English teams, so let's say us and Man City, for example, let's say we're highly ranked. Um, does that mean we can play each other? I'd imagine we can. We can play each other in the league stage or is it still cross country? Because otherwise that, like, otherwise that ain't going to work, is it? So I'm assuming maybe somebody, some bopping in the chat, maybe you know, um, but I'm assuming, assuming that means that we can play teams from our own countries. So, um, so yeah, I kind of like the idea of it. You know, I want to see Arsenal play Madrid. I want to see Arsenal play uh, Bayern. Yeah, then we go to the knockout stages. Yeah, it might make it harder to win it now, um, which is why we've got to take this year more seriously and go and beat Porto. But we shall see. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think um, way too many dead rubbers. I think there'll still be some dead rubbers. Like I said, teams that are going with five out of five, they're qualified. So there'll still be dead rubbers. But for the, for the match-going fan, I think this is quality as well. You get to see more better teams um rocking up at the Emirates or to the Etihad or wherever it may be so yeah I'm all for it um I know a lot of people aren't but it's what it is it's what it is guys let me know your thoughts down below uh, leave it in the comment section um if you don't like it tell me why uh, if you do like it happy days um but yeah anybody you'll know so I'm imagining we can play English teams Spanish teams play Spanish teams blah 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 so we're all going to be ranked pretty much on par with each other so it's an Arsenal, for example. Let's say Tottenham qualify for Champions League. Arsenal and Tottenham have probably got a similar coefficient, so I'd imagine we'd be able to play each other, which would be crazy. <laughs> Arsenal, Tottenham, Champions League, yeah? <laughs> That'd be mad. Uh, but anyway, I'm all for it, guys. Uh, but leave your comments down below. I will be back for a watch-along in about an hour and a half. And uh, we're out of it, guys. Adios. Ciao.